Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with a brand new release, new release Wednesday. We've got the brand new 2021 Panini Mosaic Football Hobby Edition, six box, half case, pick your team, number one. All cards ship, a lot of fun stuff from a fresh case. And big thanks to everybody here for making this happen on January the 12th. Thanks for spending a bit of your, your Wednesday night with us. Appreciate it. Now, if you have a little rooftop next to your name like Mark, that means you won that spot in the uh, in that random team filler that we did. That's loaded up in a separate video if you want to see the results there. Now, before we pulled out those teams, Richard ended up with Last Spot Mojo. That's why he's a little star next to his name. They say that 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. So let's see how the math works out in this one. Now, here's the... Here's that full case in all its glory. Let's pop this open and let's see, let's see which half we're gonna do. So what I'm going to do is I'll just take this column and put two here and two there. So right here, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, another six boxes right over there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Let's select a die. Let's select that one. Good luck, boxes. And it's two, so we're gonna do the left side. So this side will save for Pick Your Team 2, which is coming up in a separate video right after we do this one. So we'll mark those two so we know that they're from the same case. All right, they're all marked. So just the very next break, so I'll just leave those next to me over here. All right, let's go. Two autographs per box on average. Looking for silvers, looking for ultra rare parallels, stained glasses and whatnot, so on and so forth. Pick your team one. Good luck everybody. Brody wants to see some Kyle Pitts. He's here. Anyone else here in this break watching live? I know I saw Ryan Redman a little bit earlier. I know Adam won a spot in this. He's here. I know Darren's here. All right, so good luck, everybody. Thank you for grabbing your teams. Appreciate it. All card ship. And we've got three box random team versions of this as well, if you want if you want to do that. Nice, Mark is here. Mark won the Broncos in that filler. Good luck, Mark. Oliver, are you in this one? Maybe not. Lou is here. Sweet Lou. Good, we've got a good crew then. Thank you for joining me on a Wednesday. Yeah, Richard, and there's Rich. Rich is here with Pittsburgh. He ended up with Last Spot Mojo. So hopefully that works out for him. All right, thank you. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And of course, all cards will ship. We got Kine and Wangwu, two out of 49. I feel like he was doing a lot of uh, return work and was doing well this season. Well, we may have a chance to play a little Who Am I later. We do have a couple of good Who Am I breaks, especially that 16 by 20 break.
Got Terry McLaurin to 99 for Adam. There's a Zach Wilson there. Zach Wilson for Patreet and the Jets. There's Pat right there. Adam gets this one. Ah, Sean D is saying all the TB12 base are Patriots, all TB12 inserts are Bucks. And we got Hunter Go Long. Go Long. That goes to Darren Porter, the Porterhouse date. Oh, you were in the shop today? I'm a, what time did you come in? I must have missed you. Next time. Joe Burrow, mosaic pattern. Matthew Stafford, 76 out of 9. Big game for Matthew Stafford this week. Or on Monday, I guess. Cardinals at Rams on Monday. A lot of people, a lot of Rams fans thinking that Matthew Stafford was going to be the guy that takes him over the top, but I don't know. Some, uh, some up and down outings, some shaky outings for him. Some good, some not good. So we'll see. It's our first Trey Lance for the Niners. That'll be for Jay Greggs. Colts edition. There's Mac Jones. Mac Jones will go to Jeremy and the Patriots. He's, he's one of the leading candidates for uh, for Rookie of the Year now. Him and Jamar Chase. There's Aziz Ojolari is our second autograph. That is for the New York Football Giants. Their front office, Riley Zimmer. Their front office, they're looking for a new GM. I guess ownership is looking for a new GM. That GM will look for a new head coach. And hopefully get the most out of... of uh, out of... Daniel Jones and the rest of that team. All right, that was your first box of six to half case break. Next box. Yeah, it looks like the looks like the opposite, right? Of what Sean D was saying. Brady base cards Buccaneers, and then the. Inserts are uh, our Patriots for Tom Brady, like the Super Bowl MVPs cards. Those inserts. Larry, you think Danny Dimes is out too? What year is he on? His going into his fourth year? Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's probably true. A new coach might hang on to him for a season, maybe, if it's his fourth year. But unless Danny Dimes just just lights it up, it's unlikely that they're going to pick up his fifth-year option. New coach, new GM, probably wants to look for a new quarterback. Which makes sense. Next box, another two autographs in here somewhere. Good luck. All card ship. There's Jalen Darden, 32 out of 49 for the Bucks. That'll be for Sean Maddock.
You think Saquon Barkley's out for sure, too? Another Mac Jones with the Patriots, Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, I suppose if you're going to clean house, you, you may as well just do what you can. Clear out some pieces. Get some get some draft capital. Maybe make some trades. Kind of start over. Trevor Lawrence. Looked good in his last game. Maybe a sign of things to come, especially when he gets a new coach. Mosaic pattern. Mosaic refractor that goes to Sean Maddock and the Jags. He won that spot. <laughs> Matt Jen is saying maybe Danny Dimes won't be out this year because there's not too many other good options. Russell Wilson will cost too much. No one's going to know what's happening with Deshaun Watson. There's CeeDee Lamb. Swagger. 9 out of 10. They're going to have to show some of that swagger against the Niners. Leonard with the Cowboys. And here's Jalen Phillips, rookie autograph for Darren and the Dolphins. Zach Wilson NFL debut for Petrit and the Jets. Brian Dawkins. March Hayes having a great year. He's got a shot at Offensive Rookie of the Year. Quentin Nelson, 15 out of 99. Mike Tower thing would be amusing if Jim Harbaugh ended up with the Jags and won the championship after Urban Meyer was there. 15 out of 99, Quentin Nelson. I mean, what would it take for the Jaguars to win the championship next year? They would just have to nail every draft pick next year have a great free agency and then Trevor Lawrence just elevates and evolves by like two or th two or three times what he is now I guess it's it's not impossible Tom Brady silver for the Patriots that Stephon Diggs wanted to go along for the ride. No, it's just you, Tom Brady. Going with uh, Jeremy. And this is Mike Tower speaking as a Michigan grad. And we have we have Jamie Newman for the Eagles. Rookie autographs for Corey and the Fly Eagles Fly. bit of glue that's kind of on some of these cards, at least in this box. There's Trey Lance, NFL debut. Insert for the Niners, Jay Greggs. All right, next box. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence did finish off with a good game to end the season. I mean... I think it'd be harsh to drudge Trevor Lawrence's performance this year just because of just because just things didn't really work with Urban Meyer, just didn't really click. So maybe if he gets uh, some a little consistency in coaching, Travis Etienne should be back next year. That should be a boost. A familiar target for Trevor Lawrence, and then if they're able to uh, maybe get some get a get a uh, wide receiver for him, get some pass catching options, Trevor Lawrence.
So how many quarterbacks? How many quarterbacks? Uh, how many rookie quarterbacks from this year are getting new head coaches next year? Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. Is that it? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying the Jags are close, but there there are some pieces there, Matt. But yeah, you're right. They got They need a ton of help on D, O line help. You know, they got to get, you know, another weapon. Ooh, damn it. Points. Are the Storm Chaser is a super short print. Looks like it. That's for the Chargers. That'll go to Nick. And we'll randomize the points to one person to break winner take all. There's Evan McPherson to 49 and a Trey Lance color match. A little red parallel matching the 49ers red. Jay Graggs. Nice. And there's Evan McPherson for Cincinnati. Sean Maddock. We got Odafe Owa, 76 out of 99. Josh Allen. Who does everyone have in that? In the, what? It's a best of three now. This would be the third time Patriots and Bills are facing each other. Patriots, Bills, just straight up. Who does everyone got? Who, what does everyone think? Matt says Bills. Stephen Flat has Bills. Behind Stafford is Micah Parsons. What a season he's had. Rookie auto for the Dallas Cowboys, Leonard. Adams got Buffalo too. What about this matchup? Niners, this is a classic matchup. Niners are in Dallas. Larry says Pats. Pats and Belichick. He likes Belichick in the playoffs. I don't think he's been a uh, I don't think he's been a dog too often in the playoffs, but but whenever Belichick has been a dog, he has been uh, pretty good. Halfway through this break, folks, got about another twenty minutes or so to go. Jesse's on the Niners. Matt Jen says, I don't think uh, Prescott is good without an all-star offensive line. I like the Niners too, Matt says. I'm leading Niners as well on that one. I, th I, th I agree, Bills. I know, I know it's hard to go against Belichick, but rookie QB on the road, even with Belichick, I think Bills have kind of started to, to get a little more balance on their offense, which I think is a huge help. Defense is solid. They're at home. I think I like the Niners too. That seems to be the the popular the popular pick from what I'm reading. Niners running game is really nice with Elijah Mitchell. Defense is strong. And Cowboys 
have been a little, little shaky in the last quarter of the season here. There's Aaron Jones to 49. Mike is asking, which young player or players stand to improve their stock the most in the playoffs? Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, here's Trevor Lawrence, NFL debut for the Jag, Sean Maddock. Yeah, maybe C.D. Lamb, Tim Singh, Jamar Chase. Yeah, if they have big games in the playoffs. Jamar Chase could certainly have a big day against my Raiders and their, uh, their sort of inconsistent secondary. Sometimes they're good. Not just not consist nearly consistent enough. There's Taysom Hill, Joe Burrow. I think I'd go with Joe Burrow. He's got the most to gain, right? Taysom Hill going to the Saints. Angel or on hell with that one. Right, Chad Daw has a big position on Joey B, so he's hoping he gets the scenario that you just mentioned, Matt, wins a game or two in the playoffs and then be on the next level. See, Birch thinks Mac Jones could raise his stock considerably too. Here's Mac Jones right here. Anything, Joe? No, Thomas, I'm good. Thank you, All sir. Right, of course. See you tomorrow? Friday. Friday. I'm not here Friday. I'll see you next week then. Yes, sir. Have a good weekend. You too. Peace. It's Najee Harris to 99. Is there a scenario where, where, the, where the Steelers can beat the Chiefs? You know, maybe... Maybe Patrick Mahomes just has a terrible day. Najee Harris would just have to go off and control that game. All right, Evan. See you, man. See you, Danny likes a, a Brady versus Belichick Super Bowl. That would that would actually be good TV. There's Justin Fields, NFL debut. He'll have a new coach to work with. Hopefully, that unlocks his potential and the rest of that team's potential. Russell Wilson. Straight fire to 49 for the Seahawks. Where does he end up? Does he stay? Does he go? A lot of storylines in, in the NFL, boys and girls. And we've got Ronnie Perkins, rookie auto for the Patriots. Jeremy with the Patriots. What's that? No. Okay, cool. Another Trevor Lawrence. And two boxes to go. You know, I I don't know if I buy the Chad Dodd saying saying uh, well. First of all, Tim was saying there's a lot of pressure on the Bengals to get their first playoff win since the '90s. He thinks that Raiders Bengals game is going to be close than most people think. Chad's countering with it's a Raider letdown game coupled with Burrow and most most of the starters on a on a lot of rest. You know, Burrow was has knee banged up a little bit, so that's resting is good for him. I don't know if I at least handicapping wise, I don't know if I buy the letdown thing. Raiders have, have, Raiders have had a lot of adversity this season. They're fired up. I think they're chemistry-wise, they're more together as a team 
than they ever have been, I think. They're rallying around Bisaccia, the interim. I don't think a let, you know, they haven't been in the playoffs for ages. I don't know if letdown is really, is at least emotionally, I don't know if letdown is a factor there. I think they're fired up. What is a factor is that they're on a short week and they just played an overtime game. A very hard fought overtime game. So I think just physically, they may be, they may be tired. Like a lot of adrenaline will have to probably carry them through, but they played a lot of football. So I think I think the emotional letdown is not there. You know? No, I don't think I'll I don't I don't buy the emotional letdown argument, which I have heard people talk about. Oh, they played the Chargers and all this sort of stuff. I don't buy that. But I think they are. They did play an overtime, a very hard-fought overtime game, right till the end. I think it's going to be physically they're going to, and they're playing on playing early on Saturday on on East Coast time. I think that's where it's going to be. Physically, that's going to be the challenge. There's Zach Wilson, blue, ninety-four out of ninety-nine. Emotionally, though, I think they're just they're just as fired up. Hopefully, their bodies can respond as well. Zach Wilson, NFL debut, blue, to Patrit and the New York Jets. There's Eric Carr. Matt Jen, trust Derek Carr as much as you trust Carson Wentz. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a big game for Derek Carr, too. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to bet that game. Bengals. Raiders, Bengals. There's Matthew Safford, 90 out of 99. I don't think there's enough value there <laughs> to bet the Raiders. 90 out of 99, Matthew Stafford. And behind James Harrison is Levi uh, Onwuzurike. Rookie auto for the Lions. That goes to, that goes to Matt Jen. There you go, on the board, Matt. Jamar Chase Silver. This could be one of I think him and Mac Jones. I, at least until at least according to Vegas, him and Matt Mac Jones are the favorites for offensive rookie of the year. There's Trey Sermon, twenty three out of twenty five. Who knew that it would be Elijah Mitchell that would be the better back? But I think Trey Sermon could could be there too. That's to 25 for the Niners. That's going to go to Jay Greggs. Fred Warner, Antonio Gibson. It's Trey Lant, NFL debut. And we've got opera singer Justin Tucker. It's got a good voice. Don't do not go to karaoke night with Justin Tucker. That goes to Aaron and the Baltimore Ravens. Has he done a I want to has he done a national anthem? I feel like he's done a national anthem at like a Baltimore Orioles game or something like that. Maybe I'm just making that up in my head. Maybe he should do a national anthem. Eric Dickerson, Chaz Surratt, Kyle Pitts, Kine Wongu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tim's like, I was going through a box of old cards and found a Todd Marinovich rookie. You trust him more than Derek Carr? No way. No, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't think, uh, I don't think Marinovich took the Raiders to, to any playoffs.
Bro, is there a... Yes. There, stained glasses are a feature in Mosaic Football. I don't know. We haven't seen one yet. I don't know if there are one per case or maybe it's one every other case. I don't know. But so far, we have not seen one. It seems like they're harder to hit. I think in Mosaic Basketball, they seemed a little more common than... Uh, than some other previous releases. Seems like in the N in NFL, it looks like it's a lot more shorter printed. I want to say in a basketball break, we probably would have seen two or three already. <laughs> yeah, you want to get me fired up? Yeah, no, you don't. Already fired up for the weekend. All right, next box, final box. Good luck. It's Jalen Waddle. Trey Lance. So there's a Trey Lance NFL debut for the Niners. Trevor Lawrence blue chips insert. Travis Etienne silver for the Jags. Sean Maddock and a mosaic pattern Jalen Waddle. Also had a pretty solid season. Goes to Darren. And we got a Derrick Henry. He'll be back in action for the Titans in the playoffs. That's, that might be a little scary. Huh. I'm not sure, Ollie. I don't I don't have John Morant license to dominate contenders prices memorized in my head. But if you look if you go to eBay and look at uh, completed auctions, you may be able to uh, to kind of figure out a, a price there. Or one of our favorite research sites, 130point.com, 130point.com. They'll give you sold items as well on eBay, plus whatever the, the buy it now price was, which is pretty convenient. We use that site every day. Marshall Falk, 14 out of 99. That goes to... Angel and the Rams. Oh, did I miss a Mac Jones? I was busy talking about license to... Oh, well, it must have been a while ago. I don't think I did. There was an insert of Mac Jones, but those aren't as valuable. So, no, I don't think I missed a Mac Jones. But guess what? All card ships. So whatever I miss, our shipping team will, will make sure that it gets to you. All right, and then we got Kylan Granson, Colts. That'll be for Tim and the Blue Horseshoes. There's Javante Williams, blue, 47 out of 99. That will be for Mark and Denver. Jason Taylor, Rashad Bateman. Brady insert. And we got an Aziz Ojolari. Rookie autograph for New York. New York football giants. Riley. 
New GM, new head coach for them. Let's see if it unlocks that team. Or gets them on the right track at least, on a better track. And that is that, my friends. Let's give away these points. Winner take all on the points, but just one set of points. So let's gather everybody's name. I'm not sure, Ollie. I forget. Check the schedule. I think that's updated. There it is. Nightbot just dropped it for you. All right. So here's some new dice. There's a blank list. Let's gather everybody's names. And name on top will get 600 points. After eight times. Six into two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, name on top, 600 points. A little consolation prize going to, going to Patrit. There you go, Patrit. 600 points going your way. Let's do a quick little uh, recap here of the autographs and some other highlights. Second half coming up. Thanks everybody for getting in, for making this happen. Appreciate it. Swagger was out of 10. And there you go. Thanks everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.